So far, we've only looked at the time series example. Now we will continue with spatial analysis. For this, we will make a geographical plot. To do the spatial analysis, we will use a different example than before. We will use the plot map example. You can load it into your workspace the same way we did before. I have renamed it question 5. This script will look very similar to the previous script. Only in this case the title is plot map. We still have a drop down menu. The difference here is mainly in the figure. Here we use cds.geomap, which is the function to plot geographically. In the example, you plot the temperature data for 2010, August the 15th, on 12 o'clock in the afternoon. When you run this, a plot will appear on the right. You now see a world map with the temperature plotted for the 15th of August 2010. To find a suitable location for Carlos's olive grove, we want to look at the mean monthly precipitation in March over a couple of years. The first thing we need to do is again put the precipitation here. Then, because we only want to look at the precipitation in Spain, we have to limit the plot to that area. For this, you add area in the data retrieval. And you fill out the lower left and upper right corner of the area you want to cover. Now, to calculate our monthly mean over 2000 to 2018, we add all the years. We change this to month number 3, March. We add all the days and all the times. Now, it is very important to keep a comma behind all your variables. Also, if you've written something wrong here, like this, you will see a red X. This means you have gave an invalid command. Now we've written the data retrieval for a lot of data. These data cannot directly be visualized in a plot. To understand that better, I will now show you a small diagram of how to think of the data we've just ret retrieved. You can think of the data like this. For every time step, you have a raster that shows your spatial domain. So we have these kind of slices for all the times and all the days of the years that we have retrieved. In the time series plot, we looked at one pixel and plotted all these moments in time in a line. Now we are looking to plot one such a slice in the spatial domain. But we want to use the data in all the slices, so we have to do a, a calculation in which we put all this together. We will calculate the mean precipitation rate of the month of March of these 18 years. For this, we will use a new function. You can find it here in documentation, climate. We will use the climatology mean. To use this function, we need the data, so all the data we have previously um, retrieved, 
a start date, an end date, and a frequency. The frequency in our case will be month. We will add this function here. So we use CT, climate, climatology mean, then we have our data, which we retrieved over here. The start date, which is the official time step, uh, timestamp of the data. The stop date, which is the last timestamp of the last data point. And our frequency, month. To make our plot, here we write mean data. Because we are using a lot of data in this script, it will take a while to load. We also need to remove this line to ensure the script will run.